Hello everyone, Cap here and welcome back to some more Machabellum. Let's check out uh, this match between Thaco and uh, this person. I just used Google Lens to translate this. <laughs> Someone in my comments uh, mentioned that you could use that to translate the Asia names here. And this name is or translates to Stupid Vegetable Food. Cool. <laughs> All right, it's Sacco versus Stupid Vegetable Food. And yeah, Blue is Quick Supply Specialist with Fangs and Steel Balls and is getting one more pack of Fangs and the Range Enhancement right away here. So looking to be, or it's looking like it's going to be Fang Aggression here by Sacco, already positioned aggressively as well. And Red is Area Specialist with Sledgehammers and arc lights, and added some crawlers. Sledgehammers positioned uh, vertically, very good against steel bolts. Range on the fangs really matters, though. We're able to quite quickly take out the crawlers. Also, help quite a bit with these sledgehammers and arc lights, but not quite enough yet. Sledgehammers and arc lights really good at this point against uh, fangs overall still. Range helps, but it's not enough yet. However, as we maybe all know, fangs really start scaling with levels and yeah, even more tech upgrades. So mech rage at some point probably is going to be next. And then all of a sudden they just shred everything. They are basically mini Mustangs, <laughs> kind of. They also attack really quickly. They are a group of uh, units and everything. They are basically Mustangs uh, in a bit slower and weaker. Blue skipping and red picking extended range sledgehammers. That really helps against these uh, fangs for sure. Also against the steel boards, getting some shots in early before the camp mid. Sorry, before the co they come in, can't speak just yet. Still drinking my coffee, still waking up. <laughs> it's the weekend after all. And Sacco is positioning Fangs in the flanks here. Uh, going to get countered on both sides, by the way. Brawlers here will rush the Fangs and some Mustangs here. So not going to do much. They will buy a bit of time against these uh, units in the back there and pull a couple of sledgehammers away for a bit, but not the biggest impact. And yeah, I think three packs of fangs were added. Another one here, near the front. Are any fangs going to level? Does not look... Oh, this one pack can level. That's very good for blue. Also, I'm wondering if red would decide to go more sledgehammers now to counter these fangs. I'm wondering if uh, portable shield might be a pick up soon-ish. Because that really helps against sledgehammers. But usually you want to take uh, Mech Rage here as the second tech upgrade on those fangs. Rhino Sword for red. Going, yeah. Going to take the tower here potentially. Yep, by blue. And. Sacco is also adding rhinos here. Well, not also adding, but there's a rhino drop by red. And Sacco is buying regular rhinos here to put in front of the fangs. Rhino can tank and can also help take down these crawlers quite quickly. So this flank over time is going to be very annoying for red. Uh, this turn though... Yeah, this is not going to be protected. So Rhino Drop will take the tower. And with that tower debuff, likely 
Red will also take this round, but let's see. Rhinos barely spawning in in the flanks. Pretty low though, yeah, going down. Not doing too much. Now the tower debuff comes in. And Mustangs arrive. Rhino cleaning up from behind and tanking all these fangs as well. Yeah, this is uh, rough for Blue here. The Rhino drop definitely helped quite a bit. And here a lot of fangs and level 2 fangs as well and the Rhino from the flank all given XP to these Mustangs as well and levels on Mustangs with range very good as well against uh, tanks. Junior manufacturing for both players. Red going for Steel Balls to answer the flanking Rhinos. Blue leveling the fangs where possible of course. You gotta level every single time you get the chance. And here we go, the second upgrade is Mech Rage. Makes sense. Oh, by the way, there is... Was it picked this round or was it already the last round? I'm not sure. Uh, but there is uh, armor enhancement on the Arc Lights. Arc Lights kind of annoying now uh, for these fangs. Fangs getting taken care of. However, main army is pushing in and Steelbots also locking onto these arc lights. Not the left one, I guess. Right one though, but tower debuff and that might be enough here. So even though the flanks got taken care of kind of nicely and easily, um, a lot of the army was still distracted by that flank for quite a while and that opened up the towers. So right tower did fall even though there were still a ton of units here in the corner by red. But yeah, that is why aggressive players like to put stuff in the flanks, mainly to pull away and distract part of the army so the tower is less protected. And it's working out here. Charged ammo for both players. Are we going on Mustangs for red and going on some Fangs for blue? Yep, Mustangs here and these Fangs here. Also, let me turn off chat. A lot of level 2 units here. All the Fangs and also the Steel Balls level 2 now. Steel Balls definitely still have their place here against these uh, Armor Arc Lights. Power upgrades to protect from cheap flanks. For example, Phoenix drive by. So spawning a Phoenix here and then mobile beaconing it um, behind the towers. Uh, Phoenixes will just shoot the towers and fly even further, and the first tower will not die to the Phoenixes if the tower does have the health upgrade. Uh, more fangs on the flanks here. Eobalt's once again locking on to the arc lights. Not getting the tower just yet. Actually, towers also got the health, uh, health upgrades for red. So, steel balls are really needed and they did come in this time again. Uh, to take down these towers, but when just the level 2 fangs lock on, they take quite a while to take down this tower. So that uh, almost made a difference, but well, steel balls, when they lock on, especially level 2 steel balls, they will take down that tower somewhat quickly. Get by blue. And all of the levels. And armor enhancement on these steel balls so they will tank well it's a bit awkward here against this pack of mustangs with charged ammo but other than that uh, the steel balls will tank mustangs oh however oh this might actually <laughs> this might 
backfire here for blue. So red is getting level 2 hackers. If the hackers hack the steel balls with armor, all of a sudden uh, blue needs to deal with armored steel balls as well and level 2 steel balls. So they do negate all of the level 2 damage from fangs, for example. Just the level 3 fangs could still damage the level 2 steel balls with armor. Uh, yeah, could be very, very good here for red. Let's see if the hacks are actually coming in. Could definitely help. So last turns it was like two steel bolts coming in still and also taking the towers here. Um, at least th those should get hacked, but also probably some more earlier on. We will see how this actually turns out. Once again, Rhino coming down, Rhino drop, but the tower health buffed will take forever to fall. Hackers getting steel bolts now. More steel bolts in the flanks though, coming in from right and left. They might actually get to the tower on the right. Never mind. Uh, Rhino did take the tower kind of in time still. Rhino does have a lot of DPS. And yeah, this is looking very good for red here now, I think. The hackers are very very good in this scenario. So in general hackers against steel bolts always very good but also now the steel bolts do have armor and the armored steel bolts do not really die to the fangs. So yeah this this is uh, kind of backfiring maybe. Let's see if Sako can come back from this. Also level 3 mustangs with advanced firepower control system now. Okay that is Sako's answer. If your units get hacked, just hack them back. <laughs> and also with the enhanced control, so the uh, hacked units. So in a hacker versus hacker fight, if one of the hackers has at, uh, enhanced control and fully heals the hacked units, those hackers will have an advantage. But let's see how this actually turns out. But that's definitely an answer, so blue has to deal with the hacked steel balls. And yeah, hacking back the hacked steel balls would be an answer, for sure. Also by the way, armor enhancement does not... Um, I don't think it does anything to the hacker damage, as far as I know. Maybe it does, I'm not fully sure, but either way, the damage is so high that the armor doesn't really make that bit big of a difference anyways, even if it applies. But I think it does not apply, but maybe someone can uh, has the actual knowledge and can fill us all in. Okay, hacking going on. Low steel balls getting hacked back and going back to full health now. Hacker fight! <laughs> and the hackers do really help a lot here. They do make a big big difference, it seems. Actually right tower falling again to steel vaults now. Left side looking fine, but now also the tower getting locked on. Kind of sad that I voted for red now. I feel like uh, Sako could win this uh, after all. Hackers to hack back the hacked units. Really, really good. Alright. Now let's see what red is doing to answer this. <laughs> maybe also... Uh, us? Yeah, okay. Maybe red needs to also press this button. Enhance control. Both players going for orbital. Kind of good against both players here. So a lot of fangs could die to the orbital and also here the mustangs in particular. Also potentially the hackers don't have that much HP. Level 3 hacker here now. Hmm. Firestorm callers, okay. I guess maybe 
further answering the steel balls is not the play, but instead focus on taking down the fangs better. And red is planning to do that with fire on the ground. Also here in particular this round here with the oil on the ground. Uh, this will be rough for the fangs here. Though fangs do have a lot of range, they don't all run into the fire right away. They will probably, before they run into the fire, everything else will die here. But let's see. So all heck, uh, all fangs here did die to the fire after all, but they, the rest of the army is still coming in. And on the right here also fangs, there's no fire here. Hackers doing hacker things, <laughs> just having a hack off here. Hacking steel bolts, hacking back steel bolts, hacking the steel bolts back again, and so on. Uh, yeah, steel bolts buying so much time here and basically negating uh, Red's hackers now. I feel like I, I honestly am not familiar with this matchup. So hacker versus hacker with the steel ball setup here. I, but I feel like Red must also press enhanced control to gain uh, back some of the momentum here. So with full health steel bolts, the steel bolts could actually deal some damage and also Sacco's ha hackers would take way longer to hack back those steel bolts if they are full health, obviously. I think that actually makes a difference here. But again, I don't think I've ever been in this scenario, hacker versus hacker. Both players going for the EMP Blast. Oh, here it is. Red did do what I would assume is the correct response, but we will see if this is going to work. I I'm, I'm glad that Red did this, so we can learn if this is good or not. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. We will see. Maybe this will uh, turn it around once again for it. But it's looking rougher and rougher the longer the game goes on because these fangs are just getting levels and levels. So level 4 fangs, very, very scary. Rhino drop coming in again, but this time there are steel bots. So Rhino will not take the tower this time. Also EMP will disable these hackers, that's also very bad for red. It looks a lot better, but at the same time still the right side is coming through and taking the tower. But overall a lot more red steel bolts now, so red does have control of the steel bolts for way longer overall. And it looks still kind of similar in the end though to last round. I feel like it did help, but not enough the um, enhanced control tech upgrade. And we are going into round 10 here already. This is a very close game. Both players, senior attack. Yeah, senior attack is very good for both fangs as well as mustangs. Mm -hmm. 
all these levels. Holy. <laughs> so many levels on all units here. Level 5 steel balls. Um, level 5 fangs with advanced firepower control system. More level 5 steel balls. Level 5 fangs. Level 3 hacker. Holy. Yeah, I, I'm honestly not sure what red can do here. Like, what would change this in, back into red's favor? More hackers, I guess? Red is going for more hackers. Is that what's going to help, uh, help here? I, I don't know. We will find out. I feel like Red should also start borrowing here. It uh, could be the last round any moment now. So borrow and getting range and speed and everything. Just range here, no borrow by Red. Interesting. Oil here on the ground again. And fire in a bit as well, I'm assuming. No fire landing because of some uh, misinterceptor turrets. Oh no, here we go. A lot of fangs burning now. Is it enough this turn? I honestly can't tell. Hacker versus hacker and units healing full over and over again. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Who's winning this right now? Uh, does look better for red now though. There are a ton of hackers left and a ton of mustangs. And finally no tower debuff coming in it seems. Yeah, this seems like the turnaround now for red here. This fire on the ground obviously did decide this round at least. So with all these high level fang packs down. Oh my god, and that is so much damage. Holy. Uh, yeah, GG's. So, Red did add more hackers in the end, and yeah, the fire on the ground, obviously, to take down high level mood. And this pack in particular, like, advanced firepower control level 5 fang, just deleting this with fire is so important. But also here, even more packs, level 5 fangs. Yeah, the fire did decide the final round, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, I guess. Just having more hackers also helped and obviously the enhanced control. I think this is a must pick if you play hacker versus hacker, I think, from what I understand in this matchup at this point. But yeah, this was quite the match. Very cool. GG's. Hack off. <laughs> Alright. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.